Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for uh, quarter two of 2022. This is for April through June. Uh, we're just going to jump right in here, Aquarius, and see uh, what is going on for you at this time. Um, you know, it doesn't, well, marriage, there you go. <laughs> I don't know. Are, are you getting married, Aquarius? Um, but uh you have the uh, very good cards, number one. You have this, um, where I was going with that, the marriage thing totally distracted me, by the way, but, um, you know, you better invite me to your to your wedding. Uh, you're welcome. But number two, uh, you have this freedom card. Every single person that I've been reading for has been getting these cards of freedom. Again, we have Uranus and Taurus. It's like, I would say that this quarter it is entering into a much better part of the sky where, you know, Uranus and Taurus has a very strong desire for freedom. Where ha it has been in the sky is not such a great part uh, for freedom. And there's been a lot going on that I feel like maybe f makes us feel restricted. And it's like once we, as we get closer to May, I think pretty much in April, we're going to start to notice things starting to loosen up like anywhere we're, where we have felt restricted, whether it's like getting into relationships or starting a business or whatever, uh, it doesn't really matter wherever it is for you. You're going to start to notice, I think things kind of like freeing up, things becoming a little bit better. And then when we get to May, um, it gets like really good. So I feel like there could be like a lot of benefits uh, around that time of the year, um, which is like only a couple months away, basically. And uh, that's really what I see here. I'm using the uh, Prisma Visions Tarot, by the way, if you're wondering what deck this is. But you start out with this uh, Sagittarius card. It just says expand on it. Um, this is a very expansive reading, really good reading for you. I mean, you have the Nine of Cups, the Star, the Ace of Cups. You have the Six of Wands. The Four of Wands, the Two of Cups, really, really nice energy here for you in general. I would say that I feel like you need to move towards things that cause you to expand with that Star card. The Star card can sometimes represent seeing something that inspires you or seeing something uh, that could potentially motivate you to be more successful or to grow your life in some way. And so I feel like that star is asking you to move towards something um, that, you know, could cause you to expand like new opportunities, um, anything that pushes you outside your comfort zone, or if you just feel inspired to do something, I would do it. Uh, in this first row, you have the nine of cups, the fool, and the four of pentacles. Um, it's crazy that every single person <laughs> has had the nine of cups. So definitely I would make a wish. I feel like there's some good things coming in for you. Um, with the star card here, this would definitely represent kind of bathing in, in an energy. The nine of cups to me represents experiencing an energy before you have it. Um, so it's like if you want love, it represents going and being in the energy of love so that you can attract it into your life. I feel like that's a good idea right now. Uh, for you, again, I would focus on like manifesting or I would focus on things that inspire you with that star card. I would make a wish and you know ask the universe for guidance almost with that star card. Again, the star card can represent seeing something that uh, kind of shows you that if one person can do something, you can do it. She's normally pouring water onto the land and, you know, on the star card. And it, again, it represents if one person can do something, you can do it. So it's like things are becoming possible for you. You also have the fool. I feel like saying you won't regret it. <laughs> if you're if you're feeling like taking some sort of leap of faith here, Aquarius, I feel like saying you're not going to regret it if you're worried. Like if you're worried about having regrets, you have that marriage card and the four wands. It could be marriage. It doesn't have to be marriage. Again, I feel like if you are thinking about committing to something, like if you are like saying, oh, I'm going to start my new cupcake factory, like do I commit to this? I would say yes. I feel like if it's inspiring to you, if it excites you, if it lights you up, then that's exactly what you're supposed to be doing. Uh, same thing with a relationship. Like if you feel like committing to a person, they just seem like a good person, you want to be with them, then that's, that's all you need to know <laughs> is what I'd say here. I would go for it. Uh, with this energy. And you have the uh, four pentacles. Uh, we're all holding on to things, I feel, just a little bit. Um, I feel pretty much all of us are, you know, just based off the astrology that pretty much everyone could be holding on to things that just, that kind of is more like a teddy bear, you know, something from the past that makes you feel comfortable. It could be a belief. It could be a person. It could be anything. And I feel like the universe is like kind of like saying, we don't, you're a grown up now. You don't need to, you know, drag your teddy bear all over the place with you. So I feel like we all have these things right now that kind of provide us comfort, but it's almost like the universe is asking us to outgrow those things. And again, it could be a belief. It could be, you know, pretty much anything. Uh, next in the area of advice from your future self, you have the freedom card. 
So I would focus on anything that provides more freedom. Again, I keep telling people that because of where Uranus is, freedom could be a little bit scary. Freedom is scary. Like if you start a business, you're you're free, but it's also scary because it's like, what if the business fails, right? <laughs> so in, in, in a certain way, I kind of feel like those types of fears are being highlighted right now where we could be feeling like, okay, I want to be free. I don't want to have to answer to a boss or it's like maybe you want to have some other type of freedom in your life where you don't have to answer to people. But at the same time, it's like that is also scary. So I feel those are kind of like the fears that you're facing uh, with this card. Uh, You have the seven of pentacles, the star in the Ace of Cups, I feel like, you know, love is really the answer. If something causes your emotions to overflow, if something causes your energy to overflow, I feel that's exactly the direction that you should be moving in. The Ace of Cups is a self-filling cup. It doesn't, you know, it can fill, fill itself up. Even on the Star card, uh, traditionally, she is pulling water from the pool of universal consciousness. You know, she's pulling water from a never ending source of, you know, source energy, source intelligence. Sorry, I can't switch my camera because my thing just went off. But uh, anyway, there we go. Uh, she's pulling water from like never ending source. So, you know, in a lot of ways, I feel like you need to do that. You also have the seven of pentacles here. As always, I really feel you need to kind of like look at the evidence in something here. Like I feel like you need to trust the evidence. It's like the evidence is pointing in a certain direction in your life. And, um, you know, I feel like you need to look at the evidence. I, I, it's going to be different for all of you. Every single reading I do for you, Aquarius, I'm pretty sure you get this card. And I'm always saying the same thing. Trust the evidence. I feel like that there is evidence in your life that is pointing in a certain direction. Maybe you think you should be starting a business. I feel like everything is pointing that direction. And I feel like this is saying like, don't ignore the evidence. Maybe you want to be with a person and you know, everything is pointing in that direction. I would say, don't ignore the evidence with the seven of pentacles for whatever reason. And I like, I always get that for you for some reason. Uh, Next in the area of the unexpected, you have this high honor card. Uh, I feel like you are going to be Number one, some of you could be receiving uh, like some sort of honor or recognition. You have the star and the six of wands. These are cards of like recognition, achievement, success. So I do feel there could be like a lot of recognition and achievement coming in for you with the six of wands and the star card. That would be nice. I also feel that there could be like an accomplishment coming in for you as well. You have the six of wands, the six of swords, and the moon card here. Um, All three of these cards are path cards, number one. The moon says, you know, go down the path. Normally there's a path on the moon card straight down the card, and it's part of the fool's journey, and you have the fool here. The moon says, complete your journey. Go. Out. You might not know all the answers, but as long as you stay focused, you're going to be successful. The Six of Swords is a card of you know moving on to calmer shores. So I feel a lot of you could be moving towards bigger and better things in your life. I feel like you could be moving towards more success. It is a card of of a sacrifice. It's like you know the the mother and the child in this in the boat on the Six of Swords. They're leaving everything they have ever known behind. Um, but you have the Six of Wands, which is a card of success. I really get this energy of needing to realize that you can't make everyone happy with the Six of Wands. Uh, traditionally, on the Six of Wands, there's a person in the back, and they kind of look jealous, maybe, <laughs> of the person that's on the Six of Wands. And it is meant to represent a jealous person, that person that is kind of side-eyeing the guy that's on the horse. And it just kind of says that you can't make everyone happy. Uh, you know, it's like we all have to make decisions in our life. And those decisions might upset certain people, but um, number one, you're on the high horse. You're going to be the one that's successful. Number two, um, you know, we can't control other people's feelings. And I get, for whatever reason, that's popping into my head here. I also feel like you're going to be finding success. Obviously, you have this high honor card and the six wands, both cards of excellence. And you have the star. You know, to me, this is like definitely energy of really standing out, really getting a lot of attention. Uh, Next, you have the marriage card and you also have the sunrise card. It says new creative ideas, uh, new ventures, a fresh start. That's nice. So there could definitely be a fresh start coming in for you. Again, also could be marriage as well. So if you're hoping to get married, I feel like this could be love that's coming in for you with the marriage card. Uh, You also have the four wands here, marriage in the two of cups, so there could be a perfect match if you don't already have it in your life. But uh, definitely a lot of happiness as well. Uh, I also feel this energy of like feeling like I don't have any ideas. Um, 
you know, I kind of feel sometimes we get to the end of, you know, what I call the end of creativity and creativity never really stops. But sometimes I think we get to the, where we think we're done, where we think, hey, I don't have any other ideas. And that's usually where we discover genius really is like kind of when we think that there's nothing else, when we really have to, you know, work our brain muscle, when we really have to try new things. That's, you know, that's where genius exists. Some of you, I feel like you're there, like in a business, a job, a career, where it's kind of like you're out of ideas. I feel like this row, plain and simple, is encouraging you to keep thinking, to keep going, even if you feel like that you're you're out of ideas, because I feel like you're about to discover like a genius idea, and uh, that no no clickbait, right? <laughs> uh, I legitimately feel that for you here in this last row. So, but again, you have to keep like working the muscle. It's like when you get to that point where you just feel like there's nothing left, when there's nothing more to do, when you there is no more hope or inspiration with the star, right? Um, that is where we usually discover something genius. And I, I feel like you're discovering something genius. Uh, you have the four of cups, the four of wands and the two of cups. The four of cups is like saying that you're manifesting things. The four of cups is a card of ap apathy and contemplation. He kind of needs to be grateful for the cups that he has in front of him. He normally on a traditional four of cups is ignoring the cups in front of him. But um, those cups, they might have steps, right? I always say that the four of cups to me is kind of like a card of steps. Instead of attracting the thing that you want directly, you're attracting the steps to get there. And that's usually why he's not paying attention because he feels like he's not getting what he wants, but he actually is. He's just getting the steps to get there. You also have the four of wands. And the four of wands, it makes perfect sense that it's coming up next to the six of swords. The four of wands is about kind of crossing through a portal or, go, you know, it's a threshold card. Normally there are two wands on either side of the card and there are people who are celebrating on the other side. And it kind of represents like a threshold or crossing through a threshold or going through something uh, to get to the other side. Those people are celebrating. What's on the other side of the four of wands? Freedom. And you have this freedom card right here. So the four of wands is a card of freedom or being set free because uh, it's a card of like accomplishment. And you have several cards of accomplishment here. So definitely, definitely major accomplishments coming in for you. And you also have the two of cups. Number one could be a perfect match in love if you are looking for love. We already know that there is clearly love available to you. I'm not really seeing any signs. Well, uh, Pisces, Aquarius, it could be another Aquarius, a Sagittarius, could be any sign <laughs> that's coming in for you, but... You know, I feel like there's a perfect match if you're looking for love. Uh, for others, I feel like this is you and your higher self. So again, if you are if you feel like you're at the end of creativity, if you feel like you just don't have any ideas, I feel like that two cups is saying, do things that make you tap into your higher self. How do we do that? Well, we can meditate, we can go for a walk, we can uh, just do something that we enjoy. You know, the, the universe really wants us to be happy, even though I know there are plenty of people that are gonna say, no, no, it doesn't, I'm miserable. But um, anything that makes us happy you know that we do it could be like taking part in a hobby doing those things that's when we are in most connection with with like source you know and that's what i feel like you need to do here uh with this energy but uh let's see uh, we're gonna just clarify through here with the nine of cups and the seven of pentacles you have the world it's like the whole world is opening up to you here with the um world card so i do feel that you are in by the way i would at this point I would definitely say this is a portal reading. You have the four wands in the world so far. The world is like being reborn. It's a card of rebirth kind of because with the, you know we start with the fool, we go to the world, then we start back over as a fool again. So I feel like there's like a rebirth happening here as well. With the fool and the star, you have the four cups. Again, I feel like if something just captures your attention with that star card, I would take a leap of faith towards it. It's like you might be thinking about starting a business and it's like you're, again, maybe you're at the end of creativity. I keep getting that feeling for some reason in the end here. It's like you feel like you're at the end, but you're actually not. And I feel like that four cups is saying, yeah, there might only be small things that excite you, but I feel like you need to move in those directions. Sometimes I feel like we don't even realize how we might be inspired to do something. Like maybe we're trying to come up with a new idea for our business because our business isn't growing. And uh, maybe we feel inspired to watch a TV show or something. It's like you never know how that TV show might have an answer for you that leads you in the right direction. Uh, the problem with us being humans is that usually we say, no, I can't watch TV because we, we we enter into fix it mode where we just, we're just like, I have to fix this right now. I can't spend time watching TV. I can't do the things that I enjoy doing. Trust me, I lived there for three years and it didn't work, trust me. So, um, you know, I was stuck that whole entire 
entire time. It wasn't until I started going for walks, until I started going fishing, which I love doing, all, in, until I started taking part in my hobbies and spending time with friends, which I wouldn't allow myself to do. I, was pun I punished myself for three years because I wasn't making progress. Didn't work, right? And I, I see that here, maybe not as extreme as me, um, but <laughs> you know what I'd say here is I feel like this is saying, do those things because that's where you're gonna get the answers. With the Four of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups, you have the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords can be lying, cheating, stealing, but you know, I feel like if you're looking for love, I would definitely let go of past hurts. Really, I feel like the Seven of Swords is just saying, open up to other ways of doing things. Like um, the Seven of Swords, he's normally stealing the swords from the military or the army that's in the background. And it just says, instead, you know, anything you're trying to do in life, anything at all, just open up to other ways of doing things. I also noticed you have two sevens here. Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Two Sevens to me is like internal fears don't exist. So, you know, definitely let go of the fears. With the Seven of Pentacles and Six of Wands, you have the Knight of Pentacles. It's like you're on your way to greatness here is, I know, I, again, I know that sounds a little clickbaity, but I legitimately feel that. The Seven of Pentacles is kind of like you're deciding what is efficient in your life. Six of Wands is accomplishment and is a card of excellence. Knight of Pentacles says you're on your way. Knight of Pentacles is a card of no movement, but he's ready to plant seeds. It's like he's got unlimited potential. There's a field behind him that he needs to start planting. And I feel like you're there. Uh, with the star and the six of swords, you have the five of pentacles. I feel like this is a past disappointment. You know, the star is your card. The five of pentacles is feeling left out in the cold or sadness. So I feel like a lot of you going to the six of swords, it's like you're moving on to calmer shores. Some of you are like releasing something. Um, you know, it's like, it's weird because I feel like it's something that you've already released, which is weird. <laughs> uh, that's how it's popping into my head. Uh, with the Ace of Cups in the Moon, you have the Star card again. Uh, the Star is definitely like a lot of positive attention coming in for you. I f you're definitely showing up here in a very strong position. Whenever you show up as yourself in a reading, you know it puts you in a position of power and strength. So I feel like you're finding a lot of power. With the Six of Wands and the Four of Cups, you have the King of Swords. Also could be your energy here. Uh, the uh, King of Swords, for whatever reason, I'm just going to tell you what's popping into my head here, Aquarius. I feel like this is saying, don't assume that you know how things are going to go. You know, I feel, sometimes I feel like the King of Swords, I'm just going to tell you what I feel like this is, okay, Aquarius. I feel like this is a Tinkerbell reading. <laughs> For those of you that know about Tinkerbell, it's like if you don't believe in Tinkerbell, then, you know, she disappears, right? And that's the energy where I get here. It's like sometimes I think we feel like we know how how something is going to turn out. We feel like we already know how uh, a relationship is going to go. We feel like we know how um, a marriage is going to go or how a business is going to go, whatever we're trying to do. I feel like this King of Swords, for whatever reason, I feel like it's saying, allow yourself to be surprised. You know, open up to the possibility that the universe might want to shock, shock you, right? Uh, with the Six of Swords and the Four of Wands, you have the Chariot, definitely a victory coming in for you. Again, if you're getting married, this looks like a victory to me is what I would say to you. So I feel like there could be a victory in love coming in for you for sure. The Chariot is also as above, so below. So the Chariot does ask us to watch our vibration, right? Uh, with the Moon and the um, Two of Cups, you have the Six of Wands again. So major success coming in for you. Uh, whenever I get these repeating card readings, and this does not happen a lot. You would be surprised. Um, to me, this is basically the universe saying I meant what I said. There's a lot of success coming in for you. Uh, top row outcome, you have the two of pentacles putting in the work. I feel like you're trying to juggle a lot right now. I feel like you are going to be very busy this quarter with like a lot of different things. I would just stay focused. I would make sure to, I'm getting something about your health here as well. I'm not a doctor. Do not take this as medical advice. But what I am saying is I would be careful of like, um, you know, uh, toxic things like drinking and like all that other stuff as well. Um, I told everybody like like a while I stopped drinking like a while ago because um, you know I'm I'm not a big drinker in the first place but when I was drinking uh, like I'd only have like one or two drinks every once in a while but still even that would affect me on a very deep level so this year in particular I'm not telling anyone what to do right I'm not like against drinking or something but I would just say pay attention you know I, this could be anything it's like maybe you're allergic to peanut butter but you eat, you eat it anyway right I feel like this is saying don't do that I feel like it's saying pay attention because it's like you I feel you need your brain. At this time, uh, middle row here, you have the four swords. Four swords are a card of reco recovery and healing. So there you go. <laughs> I feel like you could be healing. And your outcome is the two of cups. Again, uh, true love coming in for you. Uh, for those of you that want love, this is an amazing reading. Uh, you don't really you have any specific signs coming up here necessarily. Um, 
And so some of you, you might already just be with this person and you're getting married. So maybe you don't know that. Sorry to ruin the surprise, but some of you maybe are getting married to a person you're already with. For others, I just feel it could just be a person who's coming in. Um, you know, Knight of Pentacles is very cautious energy. So I'm not sure. I feel like that could go both ways and just intuitively, like you're too cautious or they're too cautious or you're both too cautious. I do get like a little bit of a rip the bandaid off type of energy here where it's like something has to happen. But mm, other than that, this is a very good reading. I feel like you are at the beginning of genius, like I said. So I would keep pushing. And I would work your brain muscle, like I said earlier, but this is a really good reading. So thank you for being here, Aquarius. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But uh, thank you and definitely enjoy your week.